What is a professional gooner? What does that mean? Oh my god! Whether you're good or not, girls like a guy that plays Fortnite. I play Dungeons and Dragons. It's over! He's cranking floppy 90s. And then she's gonna be like, okay, I need to give you sloppy head. Can you take me to the zoo? Why? We have a gorilla at home! <laughs> it's me! I'll protect you. I Say mean, I'll protect you. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Well, I'd protect you, don't Yes! Worry. Yes! Oh my god! I've got one more question for you guys. Would you say I'm your type? Definitely. Do you like anime? <laughs> All right, let's Hello, watch this video. welcome to the other channel. Today we're taking five professional gooners and giving them the chance to date a living. What is a professional gooner? What does it actually mean? What is a professional gooner, Charlie? What does that mean? This is a monumental moment for all of these gentlemen's lives and I'm extremely excited to see how this goes. The woman's name is Morgana. So we're gonna go ahead and meet her now. Hi, I'm Morgana. I'm 32 years old. I'm an attorney and I'm a Capricorn. And I read my horoscope today and it told me that Leos are going to be very competitive, so. Do you think you're going to find your husband here today? I hope. Are they all Leos or something? I don't understand. Are they all Leos? So what's going on? Hope so. What are you looking for in a man? Someone smart, funny, successful. This uh, is a tall order, uh, okay? Big... I got to be all these things for a girl to like me. Smart, funny, successful, six foot seven. Like, this is a tall order, bro. All of these things I have to be. And personality. Oh, Someone yeah. who's fun. That makes a lot of sense. We've got great personalities here today. A couple of them from Craigslist, so it's going to be a banger. You're going to find someone perfect. Hi, my name is Austin. I'm 30 years old. I'm a lawyer. And I think what will make me stand out today is I think that I'm a very emotionally mature person. I Dude, you're a lawyer. I think you should have worn a suit to this, okay? First L. You want to communicate you're successful, you got to be wearing a suit, okay? You should probably be doing more of a... More of a Saul Goodman look, okay? I think that would be good, you know? I like what's going on with the hair. I, you know, everything's good, but the, the outfit is just, just a little understated. Like, if you're a lawyer, you should be more clear, okay? You should be more clear about that. You need to be a little more swagged out, in my opinion, Austin, if you want to succeed. Can read my partner pretty well, and I think that that will be visible and make me, make me rise above the rest. So, I'm pretty excited. Hi, I'm Jordan. It's my snake oasis, 25 years old. Okay, this guy's weird i like him is one arm way longer than the other or is it just because of the way that his sleeves are sitting but this guy is immediately cool he's got a boa constrictor he's got a hat he's got kind of a kind of a chud thing going on he's got a weird mustache this guy is cool and he brought the snake okay which is a metaphor for how big his is which is also extremely snake-like so i actually think this guy is based i'm a young entrepreneur i rescue animals and sell plants and uh, young entrepreneur He's very interesting. Compared to the other guys, you know, I stand out because... I would say he has somewhat of an unsettling gaze, maybe. My passion for wildlife, my passion for animals, you know, holding a nine-foot snake. I feel like he has, he has somewhat of an unsettling gaze. Maybe it's because his eyebrows are in a view. They're being covered by his hat. Maybe that's the problem. I don't really know. He definitely exudes confidence, but I feel like there's sort of a sort of a strange thing going on with his gaze specifically. Like, I feel like I'm staring into something dark, maybe. I feel like I'm staring into something dark. I don't know. Women love hunter eyes. Do, are these hunter eyes or are these... Like, his eyes kind of look like a snake's eyes. I don't know. There's something weird. There's something weird. So, I don't think the other guys are gonna do that. Also, how are these guys all gooners? Did you put out, like, do you masturbate a lot? Is that what you put out? Hi, my name is Mitch. I'm 28 years old. I'm a logistics coordinator, which is basically a truck driver. I do long distance traveling across the country. Gold teeth. I like that. And what I feel makes me stand out is my ambition. Hi. Too short. Seems somewhat unconfident. I don't know. I don't know, Mitch. Now, here we have Jack Doherty. My name is Roman. I'm 18 years old. Wait, this guy is like, this guy's, this guy's interesting. I am rather young, especially with this crowd here. Apparently, oldest one's 30. Jeez. Roman told us he was 22 on the casting call. We're not sure why he did this. He looks a bit weird. There's something weird about him. There's something very weird. I don't know. He's a zoomer, but there's something off. You guys know what I mean? Everyone here is not normal. There's something off. The most normal guy, honestly, was Mitch, the, tr the guy who's a truck driver. Everyone else seems a bit, uh, just a bit off. Well, actually, the lawyer guy seemed normal. He didn't seem that weird. I'm rather young. I go to USF, which I'm a freshman, and I'm planning on doing mostly acting in the future. And what I think will 
set me out from the crowd is... Why does he talk that way? There's something very weird about the way he talks. He's like, and what I think will set me out from the crowd is the fact that I'm rather young. And because I'm young, I think I have a unique set of skills. That make, like, what? why are you doing this? What is this? He's acting right now. We have new merchandise, boys and girls. Yes, I know you're excited it's here. It's a unique Y2K inspired design for all you goth baddies. It's double-sided. It's got Leave Me Alone on the back on the front. It says Turkey Tom in death metal font, but you can't really tell. And that's why it's awesome, okay? This isn't just YouTuber merch. Nobody in public is gonna know you're watching videos about losers, creeps, and uh, P words, okay? Nobody's gonna know. All they're gonna know is that you have this super swag shirt and you don't even have to explain it to anyone. But if you see a real one in public, they'll know. We've got a puff print on it, which means that the print basically sticks off of the shirt here. You can feel it, it's very textured and nice. My new merch is so icy, I had to put it in the freezer. It's so cold. It's just what I needed for the summer months. And included in every order, we also have a sticker you can stick on your laptop, girlfriend, dog, whatever makes you happiest, you got it. And if you want to get this shirt right now, you actually can get it on my website right here on Turkey Tom Shop. You can select whatever size you want. Shipping is not too expensive. We've made it pretty affordable. There's a very limited quantity. And once they're gone, they're gone. We're not doing this again. So uh, yeah, grab them while they're here. Before they're gone forever. Just like your mom. <laughs> My charisma and show bro, he's freshly 19. Confidence. Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm 29. I work in cybersecurity. And what sets me apart from my competition is I, I feel like I'm a good listener and I have an adorable Pomeranian. Bro. Dudes always do this. They're like, I have a cute dog. Shut up! I'm a good listener. Women don't want you to listen. Say you caught a domestic violence charge, okay? This is what women are attracted to. We know this from Andrew Tate. We know women like predatory business contracts. They like men who beat women. They like physical violence. They like the threat, okay? They like they like the promise of danger. All these guys are completely unthreatening. I mean, this guy, he has the most manly physique out of all of them. He instantly starts talking about his dog. You should start talking about how you hit your dog. Jeffrey, he does look like Jeffrey Dahmer a little bit. So now you've got to meet all of the contestants who are battling for the heart of our lovely lady, Morgana. We're going to bring them- I wonder if these guys know who- Did they know who Charlie was when they signed up for this? I'm curious. Mount individually to sell themselves to her. They're going to be doing elevator pitches blindfolded, and she will be ranking them based on their personality and how well she vibed with she them. She won't even know how they look. Hi. Hi. I'm Morgana. Nice to meet you. Morgana. I've never heard a name Morgana. That's like a mythical name, Morgana. Usually you hear Morgan, not M Morgana. Morgana, an alternative name of Morgan Le Fay, a sorceress in the Arthurian legend. She's also Morgana in the comics. I think I remember her from DC, from like the DC comics for some reason, from like Justice League. Is that what she looks like? Who is the girl that dresses like a magician from Justice League? You guys know what I'm talking about? Justice League magician girl. Yeah, this from the show. Z oh, Zatanna. Oh my God. Uh, that's a lovely name. Thank I'm Austin. Thank you, Austin. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you as well. Do you want to tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, absolutely. My name's Austin. <laughs> I'm 30 years old. I'm a lawyer. And I'm excited to get to know you today and I don't know, see where things go from there. Dude, you gotta say, you gotta say a little more than that. You're not giving anything. You gotta say something weird, okay? You're not sticking out. You're just a guy now. You're just a guy right now, okay? You're a Wagey, lawyer, normal guy. So say something weird. Say like, and under my house, I bury, you know, I bury people. I pick someone once a week from the neighborhood and I bury them. And then that's a conversational point that you can go off of. You can't just be like, oh, I'm a lawyer. I'm excited to talk to you. Okay. We know you're excited to talk to her. You're here. Okay. Her name is Morgana. She's weird. She's a sorceress or something. There's something weird going on here. Okay. This is my dating advice to be clear. Okay. Because I'm a genius. I'm a genius when it comes to women. I've had sex with thousands of women over the past week. I've slept with 50 women alone per day, okay? In between making videos, I'm, 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 I'm getting sucked and I'm okay? Women are sucking me every day. And so as a result, I have a lot of knowledge about this. And this is just, this is just not what, we're not where it needs to be. This is not where it needs to be, okay? Like he's so passive. He's so docile. Show some aggression. Show some hatred. Show some anger. Show that you're something to be feared. Cool. So what? Maybe tell her you can go gorilla mode. What kind of stuff do you like to do for fun outside of being a lawyer? I like to cook. I think I'm a really good cook. Uh, I don't so, say I know, think. I... Say I am. Say I am, okay? I think. Oh, well, I just feel that way. Feelings are for women. Doing is for men, okay? I can cook you up something nice. What, do, you have a, do you have a favorite dish? I don't know. Maybe like some pasta or something? Ooh, okay. What's uh, your signature? Yeah, I was going to say pasta carbonara. That's my, that's my go-to. That's a good one. Yeah. 
I like to cook, I like to read, I, I play a lot of video games, I play. She didn't like that one, she wasn't particularly pleased by that, okay? If you tell a woman you play video games, the only game you can say is Fortnite. What's he gonna say? I play Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. It's over! You should have said Fortnite, dude. Wit love a guy who plays Fortnite, okay? Whether you're good or not, girls like a guy that plays Fortnite. I play Dungeons and Dragons. It's over! Her just, just sucked up all the juice. It's gone! It's gone, dude. You lost. You already lost. Instantly, you say Dungeons and Dragons, you're cut out. If you say Fortnite, they're gonna be like, okay, this guy's epic. He's cranking sloppy 90s. He's cranking sloppy 90s. And then she's gonna be like, okay, I need to give you sloppy head right now. This is not good, dude. This is not good at all. With my friends on the weekend, it's pretty nerdy, but yeah. Okay. It's pretty nerdy, but yeah. Okay, if you're gonna say you do something nerdy, you need to say, be confident about it. I love playing Dungeons and Dragons. I love the fact that it's mystical, it's mythical, you know. I've always loved fantasy stuff, and I think it's really fun. I love to play, you know, with my friends on the weekends. You can't be all just like, uh, oh, you know, it's nerdy, but whatever. Like, you're just, so, you're so passive. Okay, well, thanks, Austin. Hi, who am I talking to over there? Hi, this is Jordan. I'm 25 years old. I'm a wildlife biologist. Uh, See, that's in instantly interesting. Instantly an interesting guy, okay? He's got an edge. He's got an edge. Why, how, how many people do you know that are wildlife biologist? This guy has to win. I'm rooting for I'm rooting for the literal child who's 18 years old, but this guy this guy has to win, right? I want the 18-year-old to do it just out of respect for the, for the game, okay? Cuz that would have been awesome. But realistically, this guy is going to win. How many wildlife biologists do you know? Women love animals. They like they like weird things. They like exciting things. They like the zoo. Love the zoo. Every in the world asked to go to the zoo. Can you take me to the zoo? Why? We have a gorilla at home. <laughs> it's me. Like, this, it's just Jesus, bro. Tom Freshly 18 isn't a child. Well, I would encourage you to ask Katie Bugs about that because she is the expert, okay? Run an animal rescue. Love animals. Very passionate about wildlife and nature and all kinds of things like that. Wearing uh, sunglasses indoors? Based. Based. Because the future is bright. The future is bright. How do you feel about older women? You know. Dude, she's asking about older women instantly. Because she's into him. She thinks he's cool. Instantly, how do you feel about older women? Dude, because she wants to know. He already won. He won. How do you feel about older women? If a woman asks you, how do you feel about older women? She wants you to put it in. Oh, my God. Dude, how do you feel about women with half a pound of plastic on their face? Good. Good. Pretty, pretty good. Depends. He should have been more, he should have been more aggressive. He should have been like, I love them and I love eating them out. That's what he should have said. I want to put their, my snake up there. That's what he should have said. He should have said, you know, maybe. Look, she's looking forlorn now. This is not confidence inspiring. What does it depend on? If you're good looking. Oh, okay. Well, why do you think I should choose you? Well, do you like adventure? Do you like things that are yes. kind of out of the ordinary? Do you like following the path or do you like kind of getting off the path where it's less Dude, this guy's awesome he's like do you want to be in the matrix or do you want to be based just got tipster to shout out you diorio and bolax on a stream does he stream he still streams where does he even stream where, where can i find this ostentatious seeing more adventures i guess it depends mm. where, where do you want to go jungles <laughs> Islands. gorilla mode okay into the Everglades. Nah, scared of gators. Snakes. I'll protect you. I Say mean, I'll protect you. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh. Well, I'd protect you. Don't worry. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! This guy's a yes! Oh my god! <laughs> dude! Dude, he's a genius! This guy is so smart. Oh my god, dude. I can protect you. Dude, he's got game. He has, he actually has game. This guy is a genius. Uh, so if we're in the Everglades and a gator comes and tries to attack us, what are you gonna do? Oh, I'll jump on it for you. Don't worry about it. All right, well, what was your name again? Jordan. Jordan. All what right. was yours? Morgana. Pleasure to meet you, Morgana. Nice. To were you asking the name after she forgets yours is hilarious. He might have her in the bag, I don't know. I feel like she's not super excited, but I feel like she's interested. She's gonna remember him. Dungeons and Dragons guys, she might remember, but not for the right reason. Meet you too. Thank you. Thank you. Well, my name is Mitch. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Mitch. Mitch. Yes, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you also. Do you want to tell me a little bit about yourself? Born and raised in Florida. I'm 27. I'm a truck driver. I've been to almost every 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 state in the country. I'm a cat lover. I love cats. Okay, this dude, this guy's hitting it. Why is he? He was so unconfident at first, but now he has Riz all of a sudden. 
Now he has Riz. Like he's he's I love cats. Actually genius. Born and raised in Florida, being respectful, calling her ma'am. Okay. Girls like that. They like to be bowed down to. Actually, just kidding. They like to be punched in the head. Actually, just kidding. But yeah, I mean, this guy's he's he's starting off strong. She's giggling at the cat thing. I'm a, I'm a big foodie, and I occasionally when I when I have a chance, I'm a gamer when I have a chance, and I love to travel. Gamer when I have a chance, meaning he's busy. He's got a lot going on. I love being spontaneous, and I just like spontaneous, dude. That's girl's favorite word is spontaneous. They love. I like being spontaneous. Shut up. I'm sorry. I know he said it, but I just know. I know. I love being spontaneous. Shut up! I know where you live. I'm swatting you. I'm just kidding. If you say the word spontaneous in chat, you're f***ing bad. I just like to go with the vibe of life. Um, so how many cats do you have? Six. Wow. Yeah. Well, That's a lot. That's a lot of cats. It might be a bit much. I don't know how she's going to feel about that. Six cats? One or two, normal. Six, then you're a cat guy. There's a lot of cats. Look at her face. Look at she's like, ooh, six cats, ooh, ooh. I don't know. Well, I have six that I own to myself, but I have like a large magnitude of cats because I, I, I raise them and I give them away to happy homes. What's your ideal type? Or what's your- Okay, so she's, she seems into him somewhat, okay? The cat, she was like, that's a lot of cats. However, what's your type? What do you like? He's going to be like, let's see. I'm not going to say that. Your usual type that you go for. I don't, have, I don't have a type. I like any and everybody. As okay. long as we can coincide together and, and- That's a good response. That's not the truth, but that's a good response. The truth is bad, but that's a good response. There's no way anybody actually feel it. I don't have a type. Yes, you do. Everybody has a type. Unless I'm just a piece of shit, but everybody has a type. You know, I like pretty much have the same, be on the same frequency in life. Like, I'm cool with everybody. So would you say you're more like an ass or a tits man? <laughs> Dude, she's going crazy for him. She loves this guy. She's asking about ass and tits. What the hell? He seems sweet. He is. He's a nice dude. But like, what? What is? What is? She, what's up with her? She's hor she's just horny already, dude. <laughs> she has SP says him saying he doesn't have a type means he likes white women. Do you think so? <clears throat> doesn't have to have either. She doesn't have to have, have to be have to be cute, but she doesn't have to have either. I, I have no preference. What about you? An ass or a tits woman? Yeah. They gotta have both. Gotta have both. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, cool. Hey, okay, well, it was nice to meet you, Mitch. Thank you. Nice to meet you also. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm Morgana. I'm Roman. Pleasure R to meet you. Roman, nice. To are you okay over there? Just just a little bit of complications. Dude, this okay. guy's epic. Starting a leg injury, but other than that, I'm fine. He's on crutches. Okay, what, what happened? So, it's a little bit of a funny story, actually. I think Mitch got it. I think Mitch might have it. I was... At a trampoline park, right? Dude, this guy, his name is Roman. I feel like he's doing an impression of Roman from Succession. Is anybody else getting this? R like, I think it's Rory Culkin who plays him. Like, I feel like he's doing an impression of this guy. All right. Well, these hands aren't going to f*** themselves, so. Nice to meet you, Senator Beavis. But, but, you know, three. Power of three. Interesting. Can we think about it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I thought about it. F*** you. I'm not sure you- He has like, there's just something about it. He kind of, he reminds me of Roman. Maybe I'm being silly here. Maybe I'm being goofy. I don't know. She's putty in his hand already. Yeah, I think he's got it in the bag, dude. He's, he's winning, clearly. He's going to destroy. He's destroying the game. So I'm jumping around, absolutely beaming kids with dodgeballs. Right, right in, I got a kid really good. Dude, I think <laughs> she's realizing he's like 18. <laughs> right in the face, made my day. And then this ruined my day. So I landed just normally. Snap in my right leg. I'm curious how often you and your friends go to the trampoline park. Well, not not often anymore, but that was my first time in four years, so my body wasn't accustomed, I'm afraid. Do you want to tell me a little bit about yourself? Of course. I go to USF right now. Okay. I'm a theater major. How old are you? Mm. I am 23. He's just lying. He's just lying. She know she knows there's something happening, but I think she wants it. She you know, listen. Girls love a guy who can jump around. You know what I'm saying? Girls love a guy who can jump around. Okay, trampoline type. Shit. Okay. She's blushing, dude. Yeah, she likes younger guys. She does. Okay. Well, thank you. Wait, what was your name again? Wait, Bro that's it? Come on. No questions, dude. This guy was the go. This guy was epic. You gotta have more questions than that. You're not being very nice here. Ask two questions, don't even say it, you ass or tits. Why did the other guy get ass or tits? It's a bit crazy, no? All right, my sandwich is here, I'm gonna get my sandwich. Oh my God, guys, Jesus.
you know, these people sometimes you just, you don't know these wages now and then you just, you don't know what's going on. You know, it's like, He's taking pictures off screen. What does that mean? What does that mean, taking pictures off screen? What am I realistically supposed to draw from saying something like taking pictures off screen? What kind of conclusion am I meant to draw? What kind of conclusion am I meant to draw from saying something like that? Roman. Roman, that's right. Well, nice to meet you, Roman. Nice to meet you, Morgan. Dude, she didn't even really consider him. She just on his entire career. This woman sucks, okay? She needs to, Roman should have won, obviously. Clearly, Roman should have been the winner. I'm sorry. It's a pleasure. It's Morgana. Morgana? Oh, no. <clears throat> Hello? He got her name wrong. That's funny. Because that's probably a common mistake. People probably often mistake her name for Morgan. Because Morgan is a weird f name. And Morgan is a normal name. So she definitely got upset. Hi. I'm, <laughs> I'm Morgana. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. Do you want to tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, yeah. I'm 29. I work in... This guy's so big, but his voice is so squeaky. It's not squeaky. It just I feel like it should in be... In cybersecurity. And I'm from Tampa. What else? <laughs> I don't know. What else would you like to know? Listen, this guy's a chat. He's cool. He's intelligent, works in cybersecurity. He's kind of jacked. He's got cool tats. He needs to be more aggressive. He needs to be like, I chop pigeons' heads off in my free time. If you were going to take me on a first date, what would you? Why does she ask a different question for everyone? Or maybe there's just stuff that's getting cut from the edit and we don't see all of them. He's ticked all the boxes. Successful, funny, and smart, and jacked. True. What would we do? Hmm. Probably something I've never done before, so... Let's say golfing. I feel like that's a pretty common thing. We could hit a quick nine. Maybe you're familiar. You could show me the ropes. If you don't know how to golf either, that'd be even funnier. Okay. And I'm not much of a golfer, so what's your backup <laughs> date? She shot it down. She's not into trying new things. Okay, fine. I feel like this guy should have better riz. He's trolling. He might. Is he trolling? Maybe he just is. What if he's just gay and he just doesn't like girls? That'd be epic. First date, we could... We could just start with something easy, maybe go to Armature Works or something, get some drinks, maybe get a bottle of wine on the water. Okay. A little picnic. Okay, that sounds better. <laughs> yeah, we, we can go with that one instead. <laughs> what is- is he, He's not taking this very seriously, is he? He's around. I think he's around. Is your type, what do you normally go for? I don't think I have a type. It's kind of just, I would say I like, I like nicer girls. I'm a, I'm fragile, so yeah. What? She didn't like that. She didn't like that one bit. I'm fragile. She did not like that. You cannot be fragile as a man. You cannot be sensitive. You can never cry, okay? You can never show emotion. You have to be like Genghis Khan. You have to roll with an iron fist. She has to know that being with you is going to be bad for her, but she has to want it anyway. What's the last thing you Googled? <sighs> I don't, Thank probably you. a gooner. Bro. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. It was nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice to meet you, too. I feel like people's appearances are going to change the game for her, probably. So now we're going to have our five gooners rank themselves. I feel like he's, he's the most physically attractive, probably. His riz was weird, though. He wasn't taking it very seriously. By how they perceive themselves amongst each other, attractiveness from least to most attractive, and I'm ready for it to be a bloodbath so <laughs> speak amongst yourselves get as vicious as you oh want and rank each other from one to five five is the most attractive one is the least so <laughs> wait that picture was for it to be a bloodbath so <laughs> speak amongst yourselves get as vicious as you want and then rank each other from one to five five is the most attractive one is the bro this screenshot's crazy <laughs> least so set yourself up in the way you think that should be five this is most attractive that's least attractive all right that is so, attractive just you got those nice tats. <laughs> what? Oh, You're yeah. one. Uh, Trying to stay hip. put me in right. one, I'm gonna smack you with this. You go in one. I'll take charge. You go in one. <laughs> you just put him in least yeah. attractive? Yeah, I'll Oh, no. Oh, oh sorry. That's five. That's five. What do you, what do you want for the Yeah, maybe you Listen, four. man, you took charge. They yeah, knew, yeah, yeah, yeah. They knew that guy was, he, listen, I mean, he's obviously, you know, he's epic. He's epic. I'm gonna put myself in two or three. Oh. I'll gladly take three. I like being in the middle. Okay. Uh, what can I uh, I'm taking That's your problem, dude. You like being in the middle always. You're just a mediocre guy. You don't have anything crazy going on. Okay. You don't have anything that interesting going on. Okay. You're you play Dungeons and Dragons and you're a lawyer. You're you're accepting mediocrity. You see yourself as a as a mediocre guy, okay? <laughs> you're five. You're five. We all know you're five. Where are you and come on? Yeah, yeah, come on. You're Stop. Boy. No, I'm not five. I'm not five. I'm not five, am I? Oh, nah, nah, me, no, 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 no. Join the group. I like yeah, being one. I mean, I this like 
Dr. Eggman. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Eggman. <laughs> I got some he does look like Dr. Eggman, but Dr. Eggman is a five. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Yep, that's it. <laughs> How's it going? It's going. Welcome to our little abode. Oh, thanks. This guy's so weird. <laughs> I like this kid. The Crutches kid is epic, dude. Guys. Hey. Hi. Just as awkward for us as it is for you. Very, you all very it's way awkward. more awkward, actually. No, you guys are all cute. You need to be on the hesitation. Thank you. Why'd she say it that way? You guys are all cute. Very, you all very, it's way awkward. more awkward, actually. No, you guys are all Cute. Why'd you say it that way, bro? She didn't mean that. You easy on the eyes of hesitation. Thank you. Yeah, um, you went for it. You easy on the eyes yourself. I'm gonna bring you over here. Okay. <laughs> All the way. All the way. All the way. Okay. Wait. All the way over here. Is that a real snake? Yeah. <laughs> just for you. Oh my God. Wait. Are those? I feel like she's just wrong. What is her type? I mean, okay, maybe he should have been five because of the guy with a snake, but he shouldn't have been one. What the f She's not even looking at that. She's got to think that's the top. It must be. Do you have two? Yeah, bro, I'm for you. Gucci and Oasis. Oh wrong? my God. <laughs> well, good thing I'm not afraid of snakes. Let's go. Because <laughs> that would be bad. Yes, it would. Okay. Oh, she did. Okay, wait, she didn't get the correct order. Okay, she's being a dummy. He is. So, all right, back over here. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, you. She, she likes touching. Oh. Yes, she likes yep, to get touched. You over here. That's fine. We're good. Oh my God, bro. The humbling is real. Billions must be humbled. Walk me through your thought process. Who are you eliminating? So, this one was a little tougher, but I think it's it's got to be Roman. Roman, sorry. Crutches. <laughs> I just don't know why anyone is an adult going to a trampoline park. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and are these locked and loaded? You're 100% set on this? I'm um, on the trampoline park. What's wrong with the trampoline park? Okay, for the for the addicts in chat saying she wants BBC, show the out, okay? I don't know. I don't know about that one. Chat, okay? I don't know about that one. It's strange. She's 40. Is she 40? How old do you think she is? I'd say I'm 99%. Jordan. Oh, we're out, buddy. I just, he seemed a little too, too adventurous, too, too excited to go to the Everglades and. What the f does she want? She's making all the wrong choices. She doesn't like the guy who trampolines. She doesn't, and also lied about his age. She doesn't like the guy who will defend her from an alligator. What does she want? She says she's 32. Mm. Wrestle gators and. And you're more boring than is what that's sounding like to me. You're not ready for that? True, dude, he got her. Kind of adventure in your life? I don't know about, I'm, I'm not ready for the Crocodile Dundee. Okay. Style adventure. <laughs> All right, well, darn. If you'd excuse us. Love you, boys. That was really my snake you got on you. You gotta kick out Dungeons and Dragons next. Who's she gonna pick? <laughs> See you later, guys. My guess is she's gonna kick out Dungeons and Dragons. She's gonna have a tough choice, but she's gonna say the black dude because he was more, he was, he was, he was more Rizzy. He was like, you're not so hot in the eyes yourself. You know, whatever. He has the cats. She probably likes that. The hotter guy, the computer programmer dude who probably has more money and is more jacked. He was, uh, he was less assertive. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're down to three and now I'm going to ask you guys some questions as a group. And based on your responses, I'm gonna send two of but you fairness, home, and then we'll be left with one, so. I don't think this guy is really that into her. He could go either way, he doesn't care. He actually wants to bang her really bad. He wants to bang her really bad. He's gonna say Ryan, cause he's hot. You'll see, dude. You guys ready? Ready. Oh yeah. Sounds good. I think okay. Mitch has it in the bag. So, I guess I'll start with you, Austin. <clears throat> How crazy is your ex on a scale of one to 10? <laughs> I, she's probably gonna watch this video at some point, I'd have to imagine, so. Careful with your answer. Yeah, seven and a half. Seven and a half, <laughs> okay. All right, so I'll, I'll ask each of you. Mitch, how about you? How crazy is my ex on a scale of one to 10? She's, I give her a 10 after we met, but before I met her, she was a three. Long. What'd you do to make her so crazy? Just being me, I guess. I just, I don't know, she just, one day is just, Something different sometimes, and like, so I'm like, okay. But she told me, yeah. I don't want to just be out here creating crazy people. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't want that for you. He traumatized her. Either. Not at all. Okay, how about you, Ryan? Probably like, honestly, like a three, four. 
Not too crazy, pretty normal. Okay, so follow-up question of that. Raise your hand if you're in therapy. Okay, we got one. Mm. Therapy. Oh, is that a good thing? Is being in therapy a good thing? Doesn't that show you have mental problems? Or does she think everyone has mental problems, so everyone needs to be in therapy? Like, what is what is, what is is the proper course of action here? You know what I mean? What is the proper way to do this? Good answer from Ryan. It is a good answer. Because if your ex isn't crazy, it probably means you aren't crazy. Probably. Or maybe you were the crazy one, I guess, but I don't know. He seems pretty mentally stable. Exercises, software developer. He seems like he has stuff going on, you know? Shows you want to change and get better, I guess. How is this 28-minute video? I mean, there's a lot going on in the 28 minutes. I don't, I don't think it's an unjust watch time or anything like like that. To be fair, he's a lawyer. True. It's not about my ex, by the way. I've been going since longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> Just hope that's clear. Because you asked it as a follow-up. I disclosure. want to make it clear. She ain't traumatized you to see you to the therapy. <laughs> no. Okay, cool. Ryan, this is for you. Who do you think would win in a fist fight between Mitch and Austin? Mitch. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, he's right, but oh my god. He just destroyed him. It took him one second. Let's be honest, though, on a fight, it's gotta be, Ryan, Ryan's gonna take them both out, okay? He's not even gonna need, he's gonna need to even think about it, okay? He's gonna destroy. He's gonna f own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fair. I'm, I'm a sweetheart. We all are. I'm That's a okay. Are you saying That's you would fine. lose? Yeah, I, I've had a conversation <gasps> with him, I, I don't know, and that, Mitch, yeah. I don't know about that. I think you would, if you would beat me up. <laughs> Who do you think can do the most push-ups of the three of you? Okay, come on, bro. Good question. <laughs> Probably Mitch. No. No? no. I'm gonna guess I Ryan. Don't I don't know. I'm injured, so. Oh, so do we do Probably it now? Are you just asking or are Now you? he's just bragging, okay? Now he's just flexing. She knows who can do the most push-ups. She knows who can do the most push-ups directly in her. Okay, she knows. Oh, is, is it gonna eventually yeah, go let's, to Yeah, let's, let's see you oh, guys. No. Let's see you guys. Yes! Yeah, what if we don't? <laughs> let's up? do 10 push-ups. 10? 10? Oh, you no. You guys can do 10. We can do 10. We can do 10. Right? No yeah, I'm just already picturing, like, <laughs> on this the, dirty floor. The, yeah, making fun of my just form. Just flat push-ups. <laughs> Three, four, five. Why is he doing it like that? Why, is, why does Mitch have his hands like that? He looks, what is that form? Six. Now Has he never done a push-up in his life? He looks like a bug. He looks he looks like a bug on the ground. Like, what is he doing? What does he do? Why is he doing him like that? All over the place. <laughs> I believe that was 10. Yeah, that's a weird form. Come on, 10. I've never seen someone do a push-up like that. His face is the reddest now. That's good form. Dude, his hands are weird. His hands are being weird. His hands are like, there's something weird going on. It's all elbow. Oh. <laughs> Probably mine. <laughs> mine. Definitely not mine. Too. Which Harry Potter house are you guys? Oh, okay. This woman is undateable. <clears throat> Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Ravenclaw. Oh, definitely Gryffindor. Why? Because we was raised on Harry Potter. Oh, well, with them other guys. <laughs> okay, I don't know. We gotta be on the good side. Yeah, I just yeah. gotta be on the good side. Identifying with the the good guys, you know, the greater good yeah, always yeah. usually. Uh, the, the Hufflepuff are the good. I'm Slytherin. I'm epic. Guys too. They are. Blue is my favorite color. Team Gwendolyn. <laughs> okay. Team Gwendolyn. And I, I don't know, the Ravenclaws are more like smart people. I don't know. They, they have like a... Mitch is a Hufflepuff. Sorry. Yeah, I think Mitch is a Hufflepuff. Ryan is... Ryan's honestly Ravenclaw. And then this guy, I don't know, maybe he's... Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he's Gryffindor. I hate even having this conversation. I hate this. Riddle to get into their house or something, so... What made you want to come here and find love? Not you. I'm looking for love. That's exactly why. I'm sick of being single and being alone. It's pretty, pretty boring. Sick of... <laughs> Jeez. That's not what you want to say. You want to make it seem like you have options, okay? You want to make it seem like you have a lot of options. You want to be... You don't want to be sick of being single. You want to be like, well, I just haven't found the right person yet. Sick of being single is bad. Because then that, that, that means you're desperate, right? I'm just being in the cave, you know? Gooning. What's the cave? The goon cave? Isn't that why we're all- Okay, this is epic. He actually is explaining it. Oh, here. The coon cave. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, why do you think you're single? I haven't found the right person yet. He is awesome. Bada bing, bada boom. Maybe for the donut. Uh, I thought I did, and then that didn't work out a while ago, so yeah. been trying to be more selective since then. So what are you oh, looking nice. for? Nice. Well, I'm looking for someone nice, someone funny, someone who is ambitious and wants to start a family. Okay. Is that a hickey on your neck? No, I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> not too okay, single. Okay, okay no, I, I, hey, no, I, I, not too no. single. Huh? I haven't kissed a girl in months. <laughs> if you guys would, would like to know, um, you sly dog, you. Months? Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> you don't kiss a girl for a few months, oh, so suddenly you're just I haven't kissed a girl in 21 years, okay? My mom never even uh, looked at me. I've never felt the love of any woman. This is cringe. Yeah. Mitch, why, do you, why are you single? I need someone that, that we, what's the term for it, that we compliment each other. Mm -hmm. you know, that gotta, gotta compliment each other. Cause like, I'm a major sapiosexual. So if you can't, if we can't sit here and have a conversation. On sapiosexual? Oh brother. Finds intelligence sexually attractive or arousing. Okay, I guess that's normal. On, from ants on the ground to west on the sky, then it's gonna be kind of hard to keep it going, you know? It's like when you're attracted to someone's mind. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty okay. good. Yeah, you do your research good. Yes, exactly. I'm, Say if you're I'm, a sexual one. Your research good. You do your research. It sounds gay. It is gay. Yeah. Wanting to listen to what a woman says. That's gay. Why do you want to hear what she says? What's she What's she gonna say? That's so interesting. You know. What's she gonna say? That's so captivating. She's gonna tell you about her star sign. Who cares? Chat into somebody's <laughs> mental. What are you looking for, Ryan? Basically, you know, very similar to what they've said. You know, something somebody stable, nice, and somebody very supportive. I have a lot of like nerd. You don't want to say similar to what they said. You want to say something unique, or even if you, what you say is the same. You don't want to. You don't want to. Be like, oh, I'm just part of the crowd. I'm just adding on. You want to, you want to separate yourself. You want to be like, okay, I want a girl who can take a punch, who is stupid, who can't run away, who will never call the cops. <laughs> okay, obviously that's a joke. Hobbies and tendencies and things, you know. So, you know, I want, I want to get a new sword in Dungeons and Dragons and have my girlfriend be like, oh my gosh. Okay, so he plays Dungeons and Dragons just like the other guy. But I bet, I bet that was a turnoff for her with the first dude, and it's probably not a turnoff for him. If I had to guess, okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, if I had a guess, I could be wrong, but you know what? The incels may have a point in this one, okay? I think Dungeons and Dragons is gonna turn her off from this dude, and then from Ryan, she's gonna be like, oh, that's cool, nerdy guy, I love nerdy guys. Also, why is every guy now nerdy? Everybody is everybody is nerdy or something. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I want her to be... Yeah, and then when yeah. she's watching The Bachelorette or something, Exactly, like, I'll, I'll watch her, oh, what's that whatever show she wants, again? anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, a mutual, yeah. mutual support. Okay. Exactly. Who do you guys think I should exactly. send home? None of us. I think you should send Ryan home. I think wow. that he's a great guy. <laughs> well, honestly, I think you should send him home because it gets him out of the way for me. And I see him wow. as my biggest competition. No offense, Mitch. I think wow. he is a great guy. Yeah, okay. nice. Cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. I think you should send Austin home for saying that. Well, I agree because Ryan, they're both, Ryan and Austin are both like really awkward white dudes. Ryan is just like the physically Chad version, but they have the same interests. They're nerds. Ryan just outwardly presents as a Chad. But in reality, in reality, he and Austin are the same person this is wearing lifts well he is wearing lifts that's true i didn't even notice that those shoes are weird that's fair, fair enough fair <laughs> enough yeah. i'm gonna let you make your decision i don't, I don't want to pick anybody thank you I, re I respect that i appreciate that's that oh my god bro you go gorilla mode i only go gorilla mode on special occasions it's it's not it's not something to be unleashed all the time you know how would you feel if you learned that i was on only fans oh oh mimi mimi you go sure go for it i'll respect oh. it oh! Oh, you're killing me, dude. I was supposed to like you. You're just a- you are, He is a gooner. He actually is a gooner. Wait, is, it, is this girl on OnlyFans? Bro, you're not gonna be a fan of this end? Oh, I have a feeling something bad's gonna happen, dude. <clears throat> what if he says, I respect it, and then she's like, well, I don't respect it, and all women who do that are sluts, so I don't like them, and actually, you're gone, Mitch. But that's obviously not what she's gonna say. Oh, bro. Bruh, you could tell by his shoulders. What about his shoulders have to do with OnlyFans? That's like on some women empowerment, uh, women, women empowerment. So if you had OnlyFans, I'll salute you. Bruh, women in power. This is dark. This is dark, Mitch. You were supposed to be our base god. I would definitely salute you. Okay. Yeah. And then I ask you if you need a manager. <laughs> I, will, I will help you. I will help you manage the profile. Check, I check your notifications. Yeah, 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 stuff like that. You know, we can hire like different different people to like, like to film the content and stuff like that. I check your messages. Bro, I, I feel like he's. I feel like he's a simp. He's like trying so hard. He's like, oh, I don't care if you do OnlyFans. It's women empowerment. In fact, I like that. In fact, you know, I don't really have a type. I just like, you know, whoever can vibe with me and connect with me. And I'm also a sapiosexual, so I'm attracted to your mind. Like, you, dude you i'll make sure you stay in tune with your fans and stuff like that you know okay. so we're stay gonna... in tune with your fans and, uh, we're in it together we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll we'll be we'll be partners we'll be partners i'll organize it for you 
I would say it depends on the con. Maybe it's 5D chess to do like a Andrew Tate thing, which could be good because he could be like women empowerment, but secretly in his mind, he's like, I'm signing this into a predatory business contract, which would be based. And then he would be like a Jack Doherty type, you know, maybe it's like a long con for him. Maybe he's actually a genius. That's always, that's always a possibility you have to keep in mind. Content you're producing. <laughs> you know, the kind of content. <laughs> there, there, there are gray areas in there. I'd be okay with some and not okay with others. How about feet pics? Sure, go for it. Okay. Get that bag. Yeah, Get absolutely. I'm kind of in agree with these two. Yeah, go yeah. for it. I mean, I think I think drawing the line would be content with other yeah. creators crossing a line for me. Yeah. Okay. For agreed, sure. Agreed. Got one more question for you guys. Would you say I'm your type? Definitely. Do you like anime? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hate you. I actually hate you, bro. I'm sorry. You're the worst kind of, I hate you. I literally hate you. You're, hor you're horrible. Something bad should happen. <laughs> <laughs> I can appreciate anime for what it is, but I don't seek it out myself, oh. typically. Okay, you're open-minded, cool. Well, yeah. Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, all right. All right, so I've made my decision. It was a tough decision to make, but has to be done. The first guy that I'm gonna eliminate is Austin. What did he do Both wrong? Your first, like our first interview, or not interview, but our one-on-one -on -one just weren't that memorable. And your push-up form was pretty terrible. He had better push up for him than Mitch. You're wrong. So. Wow. Okay. I thought it was pretty good, but. <laughs> it wasn't. All right. So, the next he had the worst I'm going to eliminate. Up Am I wrong? It's a he really had the tough worst decision. You guys are both great. Me too. Fortunately, I just. I feel like I'm not crazy. And so, I have to eliminate you, Mitch, because I'm just. You make girls crazy, apparently. <laughs> Gotta, gotta cut you loose. I appreciate the opportunity though. Thank you. But it was nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you too. So Ryan. <laughs> Hello. Do what, Hi. Nice to like, really meet The simp lost. The Chad won. That's what's up. The Chad man is back. Okay. That's what the f is up. You too? Yeah, you yeah. too. You too. You happy with your decision? Uh, she shows the hottest one. She got there eventually. She asked all these questions, but really she just shows the Chad, okay? She shows the hunter eyes, strong jawline, okay? Tall guy, jacked. And all is right in the world once again, okay? What needed to happen, happened. Yeah, pretty happy. <laughs> cool. All right, all right, the final round. Can love blossom over a spaghetti dinner? So this is prepared by Publix. I was gonna say it's me, but it wasn't. We also have some cards to stimulate conversation, but feel free to go off script. You two just get very flirtatious, primal even. Sure thing. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so, who picks up the check on a date and why? Oh, good. Honestly, Mitch is probably the one to go for. If she does OnlyFans, then he probably is the one to go for, yeah. Good question. I feel like there's no right answer in general, but I typically no, would. there's a right answer. In my, in my personal life, I take care of the check. Okay, why? I, I like to be a gentleman, you know? Show that I care, especially because it's like if you ask. This guy's like the act man. This guy's like a slightly more jacked act man. Has anyone noticed that? This is the act man. Ask them, you know, typically you should pay, but I don't expect that in return. That's just how I like to, how I like to treat it. I, I would agree with all that. Those are good answers. Do you like spaghetti? This I do. Looks I looks delicious. I love public spaghetti. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. That looks scrumptious. What a bite. This man's going to <laughs> flavor Is it that bad? Slightly less act, man, yeah. Okay, okay, realistically, is it that bad? I kind of like... <clears throat> I kind of like public spaghetti. Actually, I've never even had it, but I would assume I would like it. I like grocery store spaghetti. We don't have Publix where I live, but it's probably fine. It's probably fine. It looks like a serial killer based. I hope he gets her. Yeah, over there. <laughs> Just get straight into it. <clears throat> okay. How much money do you make? Wow. A good amount. <laughs> a good amount? That's subjective. I... Okay, maybe. <laughs> I don't want to give a number, but 
Maybe give me, narrow it down. Help me narrow it down. Like six figures? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Seven figures? No. <laughs> Let's do a little run through your criminal history. Oh, my criminal history. She's really, she's a somewhat vapid woman, is she not? <clears throat> I mean, obviously these things factor into relationship, but she's just like, will you pay for me? Do you have a lot of money? Jeez. Wow. <laughs> Very extensive list. Does OnlyFans. I have been pulled over twice in my life, never received a ticket, once on a jet ski for jumping boat wake, another time apparently illegal use of my horn because of a passenger in my seat reached over and honked my horn on my behalf. As a girl. At the cop. At someone in front of me who was driving poorly. So did you and the cop make out to get out of the ticket? Wow, no, we didn't. Wow. Why is she so horny? Okay. He gave me a warning. <laughs> Are you a criminal? No, I've never been arrested. <clears throat> um, Not a mug shoddy? I have some speeding tickets, but. This guy's so uh, online, mug shoddy. She doesn't even know what that means. He's referencing, by the way, a Twitter account, for those who don't know, which posts like, like hot mug shots, like cute girls who got arrested. Dude has no calves, does he? Hold on. Not a mug shotty. I have some speeding tickets, but not in several years. Okay. You're big. He kind of does have no calves. He looks like Mr. Incredible. She's ready to jump him. Dude, yeah, she's she's extremely His crime ready. is not eating more of this scrumptious spaghetti. <laughs> oh. I can't get enough. <laughs> I'm actually quite stuffed already. You have spaghetti all over your teeth. Mmm, perfect. <laughs> Do you pay for? No, that's <laughs> a funny question. No. Why does she keep asking? Ask? Does she do OnlyFans? Do not. So you don't have like a red tube subscription? I do not have a red tube subscription. All right. Have you ever paid for? No. Not even like pay per view. No. Have you ever seen Kim Kardashian's sex tape? Yes. Okay. <laughs> have you? No. Do you want to have kids? I think so. I, I do think so. How many? I don't really know, but... How many is too many? I would say four or more would be too many. So you're cutting it off at three. Three would probably be max. I'm, I come from a family of three. I'm the, the baby boy of three boys. Oh. And I feel like another head in that household would have been too much. Do you want boys or girls? Don't care. I'd be cool with anything. Just healthy. Yeah. For it. What do you like about me? Bro, he can't be with her. She's got problems. She's strange. She's very strange. I just, I don't like it, dude. I don't like it. Something about it, I just, I don't know. There's something about her. She has a dark energy. He keeps asking questions about Why is she asking so many questions about Why'd you ask her like that? Like what? <laughs> she has, she has too much fake tan. I don't know. What do I like about you? She's like, nothing. You look like you work out. So let's check. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Case closed. No, I think you have good style. Mm -mm. I don't know, you're super nice. And if you're family, you have so many red flags. Well, I'm a man, so I don't have to worry about that. And you seem like you have a good sense of humor. You said I was your type, like without any hesitation. And I like that. True, he did. No one, no one else. One of them had to ask if she liked anime. And the other guy, Austin, was like, hmm. You know, yeah, I think you'd probably be my type. I would say so. But he was like, yes, you're my type. Let's f <laughs> <laughs> So what do you like about me? I like that you like my physique. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> my appearance. <laughs> I like that you were willing to date gooners. But you you see you also seem like you're you're funny. You can you can riff. You took a bite of the meatball. I mean, that's points right there. No, yeah, I, I feel like we have good banter. Similar vibe. Similar vibe. Yeah. Yeah, I like the vibe. Yeah, get another bite. Get in there. Oh, I, I don't mean to interrupt here, but you guys were, you seem to be really hitting it off. So then let's go ahead and let's get down to the brass tacks. Do you want some meatballs? Nope. <laughs> whoa, whoa. No, the, sh the, sh the chef. Isn't she herself is the worst kind of gooner. Dude, she might be. Never eats his own <laughs> cuisine. Would you go on another date <clears throat> or would you rather have all of the money in my wallet? It's a mystery amount. The time taken here is not inspiring Not a good brother. sign. Well, the meatballs might just not be sitting right. And yeah, she's, yeah. Uh, she's like thinking really it. hard. <laughs> that spaghetti is really something. We could definitely eat something a little bit nicer. What if she asked for the money and there's nothing in it? She's a goonette, true. 
<laughs> on a on a date. We will pay for the second date. <clears throat> yeah, all all expenses covered. Second date. I'm gonna take the money. Oh God, I'm going home. Wow. <laughs> Love is dead. Love is dead. <laughs> oh God. Well, at least you got to share a good meal together. I'm sure that'll be memories no one will forget anytime soon. Not the ending any of us hopeless romantics prayed for, but the ending many of you probably expected from the title. Gooners struggle to find love. So that's about all we have here for the other channel today, and I am extremely disappointed. How much money was in his wallet, though? We didn't find out. Dude, f her, man. She sucks. Oh, bro. He was epic. He was epic. He was a Chad. She's missing out. That's fine, okay? He's terminally online. He knows what gooning is. He knows about mugshotties. He's similarly a software programmer. He's intelligent. He's jacked, okay? He's got cool tats. This guy is awesome. She deserves to lose. She, she'll, she'll be losing for the rest of her life as far as I'm concerned. Jesus. Jesus.